when is the best time to post on Instagram? Is it different for reels versus static images? In this video, you will learn how Instagram has answered this question, what social experiments have pointed to, and what experts have to say. What's up everyone, it's Millie. Welcome back to my channel where I post videos every Wednesday teaching you the latest strategies and trends on social media to help you grow your brand. So give a little love tap on that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the latest tips and tricks I have for you. First, I wanna say a huge thank you to this video shout outs. I literally wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. So if you wanna shout out on one of my future videos, be sure to screenshot yourself watching this video and tag me over on Instagram stories or leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. And of course, thank you to this video's sponsor, CapCut. If you're looking for a good video editing app to edit your reels or your TikTok videos, the one that I've been using the most this year is called CapCut. Now, whether or not this video is being sponsored by CapCut, I would still be recommending them to you for your video editing needs. When I was first introduced to CapCut, I was mind blown because I feel like every video editing app, you either have to pay to access the features or they have watermarks on their videos when you save them. So far, CapCut is the only video editing app I've found where all of the features are available to you without having to pay. Plus it's available on both Android and iPhone. So I tend to lean towards this app a little bit more compared to all of the others because I feel it is the most universally accessible for all of us watching this video. Kafka is a free all-in-one video editing app that is really easy to use that anyone can really create an incredible video. If you're interested in trying them out for the next time you edit a reel or a TikTok video, I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description down below. I'll include a link to the tutorial that I made for that app right here. As always, timestamps will be in the comments down below because I value your time and you already know why you're here. So let's get into it. If you want to keep this video short and sweet, let's go over what Instagram says when it comes to the best time to post. Adam Aseri was asked this on his stories during a weekly Q&A, is there an optimal time to post? And this is what he said. There is no one optimal time to post, but I do think it's usually good early in the day for most of your followers. And if you go to your insights, you can actually see at what time of day you have the most followers. And I like personally to post before that peak starts to grow. There are three important things to note with Adam Aseri's advice. One, know where your target audience is located. For example, I'm based in San Diego, but most of my audience here on Instagram is actually based in New York. So if I wanted to pop up in their feeds first thing in the morning, posting 9 a.m. my time might be too late for them because that's 12 p.m. their time. So maybe a better time for me to post would be six to 7 a.m. The second thing he notes is post before peak times. If you're using Instagram's insights as a guide, you want to post right before that peak goes up. Taking a look at my insights on Instagram, we see that they look like this, which basically confirms what I was just saying about the best time for me to post. Might be 6 a.m. my time, which is 9 a.m. over in New York. And then throughout the day, the rest of my followers in the US, they'll wake up and they'll continue to build engagement with my post. The third thing to note is that there is no perfect time. There is no perfect time. It does not exist. I hope that this is the one takeaway you all get with this video. If you're doing research, because you're trying to figure out what the best time to post is and this research and this perfection mindset you have of needing to know what the exact time to post is, is actually stopping you from posting, you need to stop doing research. Allow yourself to have posts that will flop simply just because and give yourself permission to learn as you go. You don't need to be perfect here. Nobody is expecting you to be perfect. We just want you to show up exactly as you are. Everyone's optimal post time is going to look different depending on where you're located and who your target audience is. And there's so many factors that go into figuring out what that optimal post time is for you. And the best way to figure that out is by you testing it out. Now that we've talked about what Instagram said, let's take a look at some social experiments and what this data from these experiments have looked like. First, let's take a look at reels and when the best time to post reels would be. The Influencer Marketing Hub posted an article that I'll link down below, which analyzed over 100,000 short form video content posts and their engagement rates globally on Instagram to find the best average time to posts for users who are wanting to increase their engagement rates for reels specifically. This is what their results looked like. All the times you see here listed on this image are stated in Eastern Tan. My Lanta, never gonna get a job as a newscaster. <laughs> 
passionate and vocal warm-ups. All the times you see in this image are stated in Eastern Standard Time, and in the article they noticed they had a few times with particularly high levels of engagement peaking on Tuesday at 9 a.m., Thursday at 12 p.m., and Friday at 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to find the average best posting time based on all of those times, the average best posting times to post a reel is 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, if you want to get really picky and weigh the peak times listed a little bit heavier, then the average time to post reels falls between 9 and 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want even more tips for how you can increase the chances of your reels going viral, I do have a video here that I definitely recommend watching after this one. Now let's talk about static posts or static images in your feed. Later, posted an article that I will also be linking down below where they analyzed 35 million posts, excluding Reels, IGTV videos, to find the average best time to post on Instagram for each day of the week, and they included several key locations. This is what their results looked like for the best time to post. All of these times are listed in Pacific Standard Time, so if you want to find the average best time to post, we're looking at 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, which would be 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which if you think about it, it's actually pretty similar to the best time to post for Reels. Something that I really love about the article posted on later is that they didn't stop there. They also included the worst times to post on Instagram. Here you can see that on average 2 to 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time is technically the worst time to post a static image on Instagram. If you're wondering how I'm doing like the average time, it's just simple math, y'all. I'm adding up each of the times that I see on the calendar. If it's past 12 p.m., I'm doing military time, dividing it by how many times I add it up, and that is your average. Does that make sense? It's simple math. Finally, I know a lot of people who are watching my videos, they watch from around the world, not just in the United States. So here is a fun graph showing suggested times depending on your location. From what I understood with the article, these times are based on that location's local time. Now I'm curious, based off of all this information and all of the charts that I showed you, what do you think your best time is to post? Do you agree or do you disagree with these graphs? Let me know down in the comments below. Here is my advice. Yes, I am the expert opinion. I've been teaching people how to grow on Instagram since 2019. I've done successfully for myself, clients, hundreds of my students. So I'm the expert opinion. All right, at the end of the day, how do you pick the best time that works for you? I'm 100% agreeing with Mr. Masseri. Mr. Masseri, it sounds like it could be like, a rapper maybe. I don't know, will we see that? <laughs> okay, I'm agreeing with Adam Asari, know who your target audience is and post when they are awake and the most active. If you don't trust the research, the articles or Instagram insights, do your own testing. That's what I did back in 2019. I had a Google spreadsheet because I didn't trust the Instagram analytics. And every day I wrote down the time that I posted and I would keep track of every time I posted, what time it was when I posted, the average likes and comments. Nowadays, I'd recommend keeping the real and your static images separate on the spreadsheet. And then after 30 days of testing, or at least having 30 posts with data on your spreadsheet, find an average time that was performing well for you. Finally, if you're somebody that's like, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I don't trust Instagram. I don't wanna do my own testing. So how do I pick a best time? Create your own dang schedule. Got it? Got it. No, really, create your schedule. Think of Instagram kind of like YouTube. If you're one of my subscribers, you know that every Wednesday I'm posting a YouTube video. You can count on that. Shape your Instagram community so that they know when to expect from you, even if it's not their optimal posting time. Maybe you work graveyard shifts, or maybe you're a parent with five kids and you can't post at 9 a.m. Pick one time that works for you and shape your followers' expectations so that they know when they have something to look forward to. If you've made it this far and you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to hug that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss when I post my next videos. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Follow your joy. Bye.